powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith and Abuela, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Owen. You're welcome to this life changing broadcast as we continue to share 100 scripture that changed my life. And this is going to be the part three of the teaching. And today we'll be looking at Exodus chapter 1, verse 7. Exodus chapter 1, verse 7. In Exodus 1, verse 7, and the children of Israel were fruitful. You know, you know when, when I read this, the children of Israel were fruitful. You see, God is a fruitful God. And God is a God who wants us to be fruitful in everything we do. Because fruitfulness is the nature of God. I said fruitfulness is the nature of God. He said, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. What a powerful scripture that turned my life around. And the Jews of Israel were fruitful. He says, so I, I start seeing myself as someone who is fruitful. I, I stop looking at what happens around me. Then I start looking at what God's word have said about me. And, and the Jews of Israel were fruitful. If you're born again, you are a man or a woman that has a covenant of fruitfulness with God. He said, and the truth of Israel were fruitful and increase abundantly. This is the will of God that we increase abundantly. When you take a scripture like this and look at it and make it the foundation for your thinking that I am fruitful, no matter what is happening right now in your finances, in your job, in your career, Lord, I thank you because you have made me to be fruitful. You have caused me to be fruitful. I am fruitful in my job, in my calling, in my assignment. I am fruitful. Another scripture that ministered so much to me is that is in Exodus chapter 1 verse 12. Exodus 1 verse 12, he said, But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. Wow, I like this. The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. When I read through this, he said, But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. The Egyptians were grieved. They were not happy that they, they keep afflicting them, but they keep getting better. This is to let you know this is the will of God. That no matter what is going on, you are ordained to get better. You have been empowered to get better. No matter what the situation is, the more they afflicted them, the more they got better. Look at that scripture, Exodus 1 verse 12. But the more, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. This is to let you know that our God is willing to multiply you in difficult places. When people try to make it look tough, when it look hard for you, God will still multiply you. When people said, I'm not going to support you, I'm not going to stand with you, God will still multiply you. Look, I said, but the more they afflicted them, someone may look at you and say, I'm not going to favor you, I'm not going to stand with you anymore, I'm not going to encourage you, but look at what the word of the Lord said. He said, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. This scripture encouraged me that no matter what happens in life, God is on my side to help me. No matter what happens in life, God is on my side to ensure that I walk in preferential treatment. I walk in supernatural favor. Another scripture that changed my life was in Exodus chapter 1 verse 20. In Exodus 1 verse 20, look at this. Exodus chapter 1 verse 20 said, Therefore God de dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mightily. The people multiplied. He said, God, God showed them favor before the midwife and the people multiplied. 
You see, God is interested in your multiplication, in whatever you're doing. Because the more you multiply, the more people get to see his goodness around you. The more we multiply, whether it's in ministry or in business or in our calling, in any area of life, the more we multiply, the more people can see the goodness of God. Multiplication is the will of the Father, and multiplication is for the purpose of glorifying God. We multiply as we can glorify Him in all things. Multiplication attracts when people see that you're growing in what you're doing. The tendency for them to ask you, how did you get this result? How did you do this? You tell them, it is God. That is enough advertising for, for our God of heaven to tell people that this God is a good God. This God can save you. This God can heal you. This God can deliver you. This God can set you free from any situation. So it doesn't matter what you're going through, God multiply. Another scripture that changed my life was in Exodus chapter 4, verse 12. Exodus 4, verse 12. Exodus 4, verse 12. Is Exodus chapter 4, verse 12. He said, Now, therefore, go. I will be with thy mouth. God said, go, I will be with your mouth. So when I read this, it ministered to me. Go, I will be with your mouth. As you speak, people will listen. As you communicate, they will listen to your ideas. They will listen to what you're saying. He said, and teach thee what thou shalt say. It is God who will give utterance. Maybe you're going for business appointment. Maybe you have a job. Maybe you're going for something. He said, go, I will be with you. I will teach you what you will say. It is God who teaches us what to say. It is God who inspires us to speak in the direction of his will. When I read through the scripture, I knew that God was going to be with my mouth. As I teach the word of God around the nations, minister God's word to people, people are going to receive inspiration as they watch me on television, they will listen to me on radio, in whatever platform they, that you're watching today. And I knew that God was going to minister life to people as they listen to me teach His word. It was going to be a word that will, a word, a word of, a word in season, a word that will inspire, a word that will refresh, a word that will empower. So God is saying here, therefore, go. I will be with thy mouth, and I will teach thee what to say. Why would God be with our mouth? Because he wants us to speak in a such a way that those who don't know him will seek to know him. He wants us to speak in a such a way that those who don't know him will find his wisdom around us. And they can turn and say, this God of heaven is so merciful to his people. He's so kind to his people. He said, go, I will be with you. I will be with thy mouth. It's so important that people understand that if you're with God, he will empower your utterance. If you're with God, he's going to empower your utterance. This is one of the scriptures that changed my life. In Exodus 4, verse 17, in Exodus chapter 4, Verse 17, Exodus 4, 17, it said here, And thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Wow. He said you would take this rod in your hand, and you would do signs and wonders. It's so powerful that if you want to see supernatural increase, the rod today is the word of God. You would you would take my word with my word you're gonna do signs and wonder. This is what changed my thinking that the word of God can produce a miracle. The word of God can produce healing. The word of God can produce deliverance. He said, with this word, you will do signs. Look at that scripture again. Exodus chapter 4, verse 17. And thou shalt take this word in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do sign. The rod today represent the word of God. The word of God is a rod. In the days of Moses, Moses was holding that rod. And God told him, with this rod you're holding, you will do signs. So God spoke the word over that rod. That rod became a supernatural equipment. A supernatural equipment that he could use to change any situation, any circumstances. That became a supernatural tool for him to use. He stretched it towards the Red Sea. Wherever Moses showed up with it, things happened. Things happen. Today, whenever we show up with God's word, things are going to happen. In Psalm 7 verse 20, said, He sent forth his word, his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So God's word heals and God's word delivers from destruction. Another scripture that changed my life was in Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Numbers 14 verse 28, a very powerful scripture, Numbers 14 Verse 28, and look at what he said here. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Numbers 14, 28, he said, Say unto them, 
Listen to this people of God. Numbers, Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. Say unto them, As truly as I live, said the Lord, as ye, as ye have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. As ye have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. This is God talking. As you have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. Do you want to see supernatural success? Do you want to see supernatural increase? Do you want to see supernatural open door? As you speak to me, so will I do to you. So will I do to you. This is what God is saying. Whatever you are saying, I will bring it to pass. This made me to be conscious of what to say. That I shouldn't just say whatever I want to say. I should speak things that God, when he hears it, he will bring it to pass. This is the reason why you got to be conscious of the things you say. Because the things you say, God is hearing them. Those things will come to pass. He said, say unto the children of Israel, whatever they say to me. He says, say unto them, as truly as I live, says the Lord. As ye have spoken in my ears, so shall, so will I do to you. So will I do to you. So God will do what you say. God will do the things you're saying. Whatever you're saying right now is going to come to pass. If what you're saying right now is not good, change it and start speaking the word of God. Change it and start declaring the word of God as God can bring his word to pass in your life. In this section, let's look at the last two scriptures I'm going to share before we round up this podcast is in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 10. That's going to be the last scripture for today for this broadcast. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 10 and 11. He said, the Lord your God has multiplied you. Oh, powerful. I like this scripture. The Lord your God has multiplied you. And behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. Wow. The Lord has multiplied you. So, can you see your finances multiplying? Can you see your peace multiplying? Can you see your joy multiplying? Can you see your purpose multiplying? Can you see yourself multiplying? He said, the Lord your God has multiplied you. And he went forward to say in verse 11, The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are and bless you as he has promised you. Make you a thousand times so many more. These were the scriptures I read. And I keep reading that has empowered my spirit, that have strengthened me, that have encouraged me. The Lord your God will make you a thousand times more. As you read through the scriptures and meditate on it, expect a supernatural turnaround. As you begin to speak those scriptures, as you begin to declare the word of God, expect things to break forth, expect things to go right. I believe that God has a plan for you, and His plan begins from His word. As you stick with the word, you will come into the fullness of his will for your life. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray this prayer with us, it means you're born again and the Holy Ghost is going to lead you from this day forward and you'll continue to make progress in the things of the Spirit and you will not remain the same. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faithman Teaching on YouTube. It's Faithman Teaching on YouTube. And also you can keep watching FinishWalkTV.com. It's a ministry on the cutting edge helping many people around the world. FinishWalkTV.com. And also you can consider partnering with this ministry. You can do that on PayPal. It's Faithman Teaching at Gmail. Dot com is Faithman Teaching at gmail dot com, and also you can send me friends from Christ on Facebook is Faithman Obweda, Faithman Obweda on Facebook, and you can like my official page is Apostle Faithman Obweda. Thank you for watching. Until my next broadcast, don't ever there is, there is greatness in you. There is greatness in you.